in solidarity with the women in Texas and across this country as women's reproductive rights are being challenged and taken away after years and years of struggle. The women's liberation movement of the 1960s and 70s forced Americans to re-examine the role of women in both family and in society. Since the goals and cultural changes realized during this era were the result of struggles fought by working women over the previous hundred years, their transformative nature felt like a final realization of equality for women within the American capitalist system. Yet, in the last few decades, these gains of the women's liberation movement and the struggles of working class women came under attack, sustained attack in an attempt by conservatives and many liberals to re-domesticate women and draw back their monumental gains, most notably concerning women's reproductive rights. As is the norm in capitalist society, these attacks have hit working women and their families the hardest, as working class wages have plummeted and social safety nets have been gutted. Sharon Smith describes the reality of the reality of sorry. Sharon Smith describes the reality of family security and the impact. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sharon Smith <laughs> describes the reality of family security and the impact of cuts in social safety nets on working class and women in particular who are still almost exclusively relied on to take care of the family. She states that the capitalist system places nearly the entire financial burden of raising children and maintaining households onto the shoulders of working class family units reliant primarily on upon one or two parents' wages for survival rather than the expenditure by government or by the capitalist class. These cuts, along with the increased cost of health care, child care, and lower wages adversely affect these working families the most. And the rolling back of the gains realized by the women's liberation movement in the 1960s and 70s, especially those dealing with women's rights to decide what happens to her own body, will similarly have dramatic greater impact on working class women and women of color. These gains, which came to fruition during the liberation, women's liberation movement, have raised the hopes and expectations of a generation of women. This movement attacked the prevailing notion that women are supposed to suspect, spend their entire lives engaged in housework and raising children. It challenged sexist stereotypes of women and the ideal of traditional nuclear, nuclear family and altered people's ideas about the role of women in society. The long struggle of women, working class women also resulted in sweeping changes in women's rights legislation, which including, uh, including Road v. Way, equality in schools through Title X. To fully understand this importance, we have to understand that this struggle has been going on for over 150 years. Women have been at the forefront of every struggle. Every struggle for change since the abolition movement, since the labor movement of the 1880s, since the movement during the Great Depression, the suffragist movement, the movements during the war, every movement, women have been there, but they've been left out of history. Right. And this is a shame. Yeah. And now, finally, in the 60s and 70s, we had some real gains. We have Roe v. Wade. Women were supposed to now have control of their own reproductive rights. But that is being taken away bit by bit across the nation. Now you can barely get an abortion in many states. North Dakota, M Mississippi, all over. West the, Virginia. West Virginia, all over. And even here in New York State, one of the most progressive states in the nation, we couldn't even pass the women's quality agenda. Shame on us. This Shame is the problem. So today, we stand with the women in Texas to support them in their rights for reproductive rights and the people's filibuster, which is a demonstration of the power of the people. Woo! The yeah. people 
hands of power. The legislature can do so much, but who shut it down? Who shut down the Senate in that last 15 minutes when they kicked Wendy Davis off the floor? Suspiciously, the people did. The people have the power, and we have to support the women in Texas. of the Texas legislators that voted for a bill that will close down 22 clinics. Oh, clinics yeah. that provide women's health that are necessary for our health. Now what is it with these guys? And make no mistake, it's guys. Yeah, there's some yeah. women, but it's those guys. What are they afraid of? I think they're afraid of, of us, of controlling our lives. Now they sure, they tell us it's about protecting women, but they make these ridiculous standards. Like, you know, a hallway has to be so many feet wide, knowing, sure, that the clinics are not that long, but that, you know, women, we just can't be trusted with this choice, this decision. So let's let's make them see a, um, what is it? I can't think what it is. Sonogram. Yeah, ultrasound, that's it, thank you. Make them see an ultrasound, or even better yet, how about a 24 hour waiting period? Because you know how fickle we are. We just, you know, we can't decide for ourselves. Well, it's ridiculous. And I hate to say this, but you know, abortion is not a big medical procedure. Yes, it should be regulated, it should be legal, it should be safe. But it doesn't need all of these regulations that they're putting on. So, what are they doing? Why are they scared of us? They say they are protecting the lives of the unborn, but they're really putting women in their place. Because they know that if women can decide when and where, when to raise a family, that we are all powerful. That nothing will stand in our way. We got to do it. So are we going to stand for this? No. no. Are we going to fight for full women's health care? Yes. 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 Are we going to vote them out of office? Yes. 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 Uh, <laughs> and are we standing with the women of Texas and saying this is enough? Yes. 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 All right. This yes. is enough. In the, in the 1980s, some of you might not remember, but there was a group, Operation Rescue, that used to come to Rochester every single year. And every single year used to make an ass out of themselves at Planned Parenthood. And would disrupt it, would block traffic, would actually assault people, and eventually got brought up on RICO charges for mafia-type tactics. Well, they didn't go away. We're still fighting the same battle that we were fighting in the 80s. 30 years ago, and it's still going on. Why can our leaders and people not understand that it's a right? It is not a choice. I've spoken to lots of women. They never said, well, I woke up in the morning and thought I'd go get an abortion. No. That's not the way it is. They need one. And it's always weird that even the life of the mother is not sufficient. Why is it the child's life is more important than the woman's life? And this is not, it does not seem like this is going to stop. If we stop paying attention, I'm afraid that those forces that have been there for 30 years and have been, and, and are not afraid to shoot people, to attack people, to obstruct traffic, to damage vehicles, and to de burn down buildings, those people are still out there, and I don't believe they're gonna give up. And we can't either. So let's stand with the women of Texas, let's stand with all women, and remember, this fight's going on here in New York as well. Because it didn't pass. And we have to make it, because it's too important.
Thank you. We need to remember that the people who write these laws and vote in these laws will never, ever have to follow those laws. The moneyed people will always have access to the health care they need. They will always have access to the food and the schools they need. They will always have access to reproductive choice if they need it. They're not doing it for themselves. They vote themselves right off of it. We need to call them on that. I want to thank you guys for gathering today. Uh, this has been a really significant week. It's felt really hard um, with the passage of, of uh, House Bill 1 and SB 5 and also with the, with the George Zimmerman verdict. It's been a, a, a difficult week for many of us. Um, but at the same time, it can be a moment of real inspiration because of the thousands and thousands of Texan women who came together and, and rejected this and said that they're not going to stand for it. Those women aren't going to go away just because Perry's going to sign this shit into law. You know, this is this is the beginning of a movement, and we've been seeing it for the last few years. People starting to come together. People in, in you know in Virginia, the women in Virginia you know, last year standing on the on the courthouse steps saying we're not going to we're not going to stand for this, and and the women who are standing up against against rape culture, and the women that are standing up against against cuts in in child care and cuts to our you know to to, to budgets to schools because of the, you know. Controlling your reproductive life it doesn't end at, at whether or not you choose to have an abortion. You're, you're, you need to have the right to decide, you know, whether or not you're going to have children and, and to take care of them the way that you should be allowed to. And then, and when they take that away from us, when when the people, you know, like like the, the sister said here, you know, it's not this doesn't these, they aren't writing these laws for themselves. They're writing these laws to, to control to control our bodies and to control us and to try to keep us down. And when we come together, like people did in te in Texas. We, we have the power to push it back. That's right. Woo! That's right, yeah. we do. Yeah. 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 If no one else has any remarks they'd like to make. Texas women stand and fight. Our bodies, our rights. Texas women stand and fight. Our bodies, our rights. Texas women stand and fight.